<coughs> Sorry about that. I didn't uh, expect that to happen right as I hit the record button. Anyway, hello, welcome back to Quest of Glory 3. <coughs> Where, um. Well, let's see. Hello, let's look at the prisoner the warriors caught. Now maybe we can make the leopard men give back our spear of death. Where uh, it looks like we have a leopard man now. Hang on. Before I do anything, I want to turn off run. <coughs> Which is actually hitting that button. Hello, Yasufu. Missouri, Prince of Shapia. Look at the magic of the leopard men. It turns them into animals. That is the way of magic. The prisoner tried many spells to get out of the cage. But the cage stops the magic. It's just good. Yeah, so about that whole using magic to encage the leopard men so they can't use magic thing, isn't that hypocritical? Warriors found the leopard men when the light first fell filled the sky. He'd be trying to spawn upon spy upon our village. Zimbani'd so be too smart for him, and he'd be caught. Maybe we trade this leopard men for the spear of death. Maybe we make him tell us where his village hides. Either way, the Sabani will gain back the Spear of Death. I helped the warriors drag this prisoner to the cage. The leopard men fought very hard, and we are Sabani. Prisoner snarls back at you. Well, that's not very nice. Well, you know what? Here. This will not be fed. We'll be fed and watered in the evening. Do not bother him. Oh, right. I have to not have Yosefu here. There he goes. Guard shakes his head to say he doesn't understand you. Okay. <coughs> Guard makes a sound of surprise. The leopard lady turns her head and ignores you. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate. No one seems to be listening. Say Havari to the guard. The guard replies, Missouri Buana. Say Kwahari to the guard. Kwahari Buana. Guard gestures for you to enter. You greet the Laban. Missouri, you are welcome here. Now that you have turned the prisoner into a woman, she will stay in the cage until she tells where her village hides, or when someone buys her for a bride. Her husband will soon know where the village be, and we will have the spear of death again. Already my son Yosefu has asked for the, brace, the pride price. I do not want him to marry, the, uh, marry an enemy, so I have set the bride price high. Until I hold the Spear of Death again in my hand, there will be no peace. It seems that you can use magic greater than the Leopard Men, Missouri. You will help us regain the Spear of Death. Sh shouldn't that make you concerned? To be a Simbani warrior, you must undergo tests of skill, courage, and wisdom. Learn the ways of the Simbani. Practice our skills. When you are ready, when you are ready bring to me the Horn of the Running Death, the Dinosaur of the Savannah. Did you indeed bring me the Horn of Running Death? The price I set for the prisoner is high, for I want the husband to value her and not let her escape. Also, I do not want my son Yosefu to wed such a creature. She is an enemy of the, of the Simbani. I set the price at one fine robe, one fine spear, and five zebra skins. Only warriors of the Simbani may buy this bride. If you are interested in the Leopard Men woman, you must become a Simbani warrior in an initiation trial. Horn of the Running Death. Tomorrow we shall hold an initiation ritual to see if you are worthy to become a Simbani warrior. My son Yosefu has given me the dinosaur horn. It will soon be initiated as well. We will best see who will make the best Simbani warrior. Hiya, young hero. Kwaheri. You 
Go to your hut and rest up for the next day. <sighs> People of the Simbini, today there be two boys who want to be Simbini warriors. We shall watch and we shall judge whether these boys deserve to be Simbini warriors. The boys shall race and they shall be tested. The warrior will be fast, but he, not, but he need not be the fastest. The winner will be skilled, but he not, need not be the most skilled. The warrior will be the one who uses his brain as well as his body. That be the way of the Simbani warrior. The boys be ready. The boys may run now. Go! I run fast. Okay, I need to... I don't remember if I saved. I did not. I didn't save before this episode, so... I need to do that because... This could be very bad. There is... There are some glitches in this section I've seen before. And I would like for it to not glitch out, but that doesn't mean it won't. Actually, never done this before because of the glitches. So, Asufu would be the winner of the first race. The way to be winning this contest is to get the ring from the rope. If Sefu will be going first, I'll be counting how many moves it takes him to get the ring. And the Prince of Shapir will go. The man who gets the rings and the fewest moves will be the winner. In the event of a tie, the man who will be showing the most brains to be the winner. <laughs> he got it in two. Alright, so if we take the uh, vine here, tie the vine to the end of the sphere. We only missed by a little bit. This is Shapiro wins. He took the fewest of moves and showed the most brains. We may begin the race. Yay, it didn't bug out. I think that if my throwing skill had been higher, it would have I would have done that easier, but here's another one that Sometimes bugs. Yosefu is the winner of this race. First man to be getting the ring from the center of the thorns be the winner. Prince of Shapiro is the winner this time. R.I.P. You may run. R.I.P. Yosefu. I'd be having trouble getting my leg out of this trap. The race not be over yet. If I can get out of here, I will not run you still. I've stepped into a pit trap and my leg be caught. You help you, Sufu. Thank you. You could have run off, but you did not. Now let us run together again and race to the end. Whee! Uh, I have the speed up, so I am guaranteed to be the fastest. <laughs> Unless you somehow cheat and hacks your own system, but you know what? Hacks! Two boys return to the village. Did they do well? Crowd responds, yes! Two boys return to the village. Be they now Simbani warriors? Crowd answers, no! Will the boy who just won the last race step up to me? This be the boy who raced. This be the boy who defeated his opponent. He has done well. The last two contests are the most difficult. First will be the contest of the spear. We shall judge who throws the spear best. Then will come the wrestling bridge. We shall judge who uses the most skill and what it can see other. Those boys be still boys, but they will soon be Simbani warriors. The Sufu and the hero from far away will now compete at throwing of spears. They'll be judged spear by spear, for one will throw and then the other. Most will be throwing three spears at the target, which does not move. We will see who throws the best. Most will be throwing three spears at the target, which moves. We will see who, th who thinks the best. Hero from far lands may throw the first spear. I will be winning this contest, you will see. I mean, my throwing skill was, has, isn't the greatest, so...
probably should have leveled up my throwing a little bit more in between episodes. Sifu has won the throwing of spears at the target, which does not move. Dang it. I, uh, I'm gonna fail this one, for sure. Ha! <laughs> Even though that hit the target, it's... I, uh... It, yeah, no, I think Yasufu won that one. The winner of throwing a spear is Yasufu. You may now climb the bridge. You may climb the bridge now. Same thing. Alright. Here comes this part. You may now begin the combat. Go! Is this auto? This seems to be auto, actually. I'm not doing anything. Just saying. Seems odd that this is automatic, but... Whatever, I guess. Also, uh, are we just doing this good, or am I supposed to be doing something here? It's definitely auto, but like... I don't know how long... Oh! Prince of Shapira has kept his balance. Alright. Yeah, so this is all automatic, so I can just sit here and let it, like, do this itself, which is cool. It's also unfortunate that there's no way to, like, you know, do this yourself. It would be cool to, like, do this. Oop. You got a little dizzy up there. Maybe you'd better get some rest before continuing. Seth would be keeping his balance. And that I think I didn't have enough stamina. Is what that's saying. Yeah, I ran out of stamina. Well, that seems a little unfair. But whatever. I won the other contest, so. Sifu has won the wrestling bridge contest. For today, these two were boys. Be they still boys? No. Be they now some baby warriors? Yes! Once before they were boys, the boys be now gone. Now they be some baby warriors. In life there is always someone better at some things than at others. This is one lesson of the initiation. No matter how good you be at a skill, there will be someone better. There's not a thing to be ashamed, for it be true of all peoples. This too is a lesson of the initiation. There's one who has proved himself a better warrior than the other. I call upon Yosefu to stand before me. Behold the new warrior. You hold the new warrior. You have proved yourself to be war be warriors of the Simbani. Nimfurahai. Though you are a very brave young hero, you are not as skilled as Yosefu. Yosefu has shown himself to be a true Simbani warrior. You may ask of me what it be that you desire. During the contest, you helped free me from the trap, a Sante warrior. Now I ask the Laban for a boon. I ask for the drum of magic. You may have the leopard man's drum of magic. Because you helped me, warrior, and because you work for peace, I give you the drum of magic to make peace with the leopard men. Haya, it is done. Yasufu shall have the drum of magic as my boon. The young warrior shall have the drum of magic as the gift of Yasufu. Go now, young warrior. May you find the peace you seek. Hey! So we got the drum of magic! Drum of magic. Magic symbols are painted on the cover of this magical drum. It was pulse with a rock and roll theme of its own. Also, I am really low on stamina here. I did very well to be taking away the magic of the Leopardman Lady. Now she'd be looking like a real person. She'd be looking very good. She still is ignoring me. The price I set for the prisoner is high, for I want the husband to value her and not let her escape. 
So I do not want my son Yasafu to wed such a creature. She's an enemy of the Simbani. We'll set the price at one fine robe, one fine spear, and five zebra skins. Which we have. One fine robe. You told me now with such gestures. Come back another time with your gifts. Thank the Laban for the honor of becoming a Simbani warrior. You'd be the most welcome in a tribe. The Simbani respect brave warriors. Tell her you used the dispel potion on the prisoner, Missouri. Now she will be tell us where the Leopard Men village be, as a prisoner or, or as a wife. Okay, but how do I... Do I not have... Maybe I don't have five zebra skins? I have five zebra skins. How do I... Okay. The pride price of the prisoner is set at five zebra skins, one fine robe, and a fine spear. If you wish such a wife, bring these things to me. I tried, but you wouldn't let me give them to you. Uh, I probably had to do that first. Sorry, young hero. Yep, okay. As long as the Leopard Men village is hidden, we will lose many warriors searching for it. Until we know where the village hides, the Leopard Men will lose many magic users defending it. There we go. She'll find it most interesting to be married to a wild cat. Accept your bride price, and the Leopard Men preserves now your wife. No one seems to be listening. As long as the Leopard Men have the Spear of Death, there will be war. Well, I guess I can't say goodbye, so... Alright. Um... So I need Yuhura to be here, actually. I think. I'm not sure how I get Yohara to be here. Like, is it random chance? Is there actually a specific method to getting Yohara here? So I think I'm still running. There you go. Now I'm walking. Hmm. Well, I kind of know what I need to do. Um, the Men Lady holds the beads for a moment, smiles, and puts them away. This is lovely. Do not think, though, that it will make me your wife. Still ignoring me? I think I will not use this on you someday. Still, it is a very nice gift. Nope. Alright, P. Card says something you can't understand, but you don't think it is flattering. Alright, well, so there's a scene there that we can, if we can talk to Yohara while she's guarding, but. Oh, Hapari Buana. So the leopard man turned out to be the leopard lady? Maybe somebody take the lady for a wife now. Uh, I think somebody did, and then let her go free. I don't need to fight you. Run! Run, run, run! Run away! Awesome. Now into the jungle, where the leopard men are. Maybe we could find their village. Walk, not run. It's day 18. Feels as if someone is watching you. 
Call out a greeting to the unseen watcher. There isn't a creature in the jungle which has not heard you coming. Good thing you are not a hunter. It's a leopard lady. So you may have paid the cow people bride price for me, but I am not your wife. You cannot buy me. Do you think you could win me with a gift? I am Johari. I'll choose my own husband when I want one. Tell Johari you only want to be her friend. I've heard those words before. First you buy me for a wife, then you want only to be my friend. Right. Try to explain that you are trying to bring peace between the leopard men and the Zimbani. So all you want to do is use me to talk to my people? The only reason you want me for a friend is so that I will betray my village for you? You never wanted to really marry me? What's the matter with you? Am I ugly or something? Try to talk your way out of this mess. Some friend you are trying to use me. I am the daughter of the leader of the leopard people and a spellcasting changer. We do not know how a cowman found our village or managed to steal our drum of magic. They left behind a spear in his hurry to escape. Hmm. So... The spear was taken by the Simbani. And then he stole the drum. Tell Johari that you have the drum of magic. Good. If we give it to my father, he will stop talking so much of war. Maybe he will talk about peace with the cow people. Let's go. Oh no you don't. Get back here and help me figure out what to do. My people did not steal the cow people's spear. As the student Pits and Baney seemed to think, it was their thief who took our drum of magic, then left it behind for us to find. You are one strange man, you know. Why you want peace for my people, but don't un even know my people, I don't understand. Still, I think I trust you. People of magic, my people do not trust outsiders. They will be very mad that I bring you there. My father will be furious. You'll have to prove yourself before the people of magic will listen to you. Strong show of big magic where the gift of the drum of magic will make them listen. So you are lucky if they do not kill you on sight. They may yet. They will kill that Yosefu fellow for sure. They know he's an enemy. If Yosefu had hair and skin like you, my people would not kill him right off. First they laugh very hard when they see him, and they kill him. Maybe they will kill you too. I'll try to save you. You are very strange. You sleep at night like a cow person. Night is the time when the leopard people are up. Oh well, if we're tired, maybe you should go to sleep now. Alright, I think we can go ahead and uh, end this episode off here. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, check the video description down below for a link to the playlist so you can get caught up on any episodes you might have missed. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.